Today, we're going to talk about how to permanently get rid of blackheads and this other thing called sebaceous filaments, which actually a lot of people have a confusion between these two, and that's what I'm going to clarify today. So there's so many treatments out there uh, using various tapes, uh, creams, lotions. Today, we're going to talk about how to look deeper inside and correct the imbalance that's causing this problem. The actual little pores are called follicles. Sometimes people think follicles are hairs. Blackheads are differentiated from whiteheads because there's a little plug on top of the pore that keeps the material, the fats and oils and bacteria from oxidizing. So if we don't have a plug on top of this pore, it's gonna be exposed to oxygen. And then we're gonna oxidize that material and that material is going to turn darker, just like if you were to bite into an apple and have it oxidized and turn brown. So that's what a blackhead is, okay? And a blackhead and a whitehead is kind of a precursor to acne. And it most commonly happens during puberty. Of course, I had it really bad. I wish I would have known the information in this video back then because I thought it was dirty in there and I had to clean it and I would be scrubbing my skin for hours. And you know what? That just created more inflammation and more redness. So that's not the way to do it. Now, as far as these sebaceous filaments go, uh, you can get them removed through various ways, whether it's going to be a tape or a certain type of lotion or um, compound, but they come right back. So the big question is what's really behind these problems and how can we resolve it permanently? Well, for that, I have another review here. And you can see sebaceous filaments and blackheads come from the body producing too much sebum. So the real problem is we have a gland that is overproducing. And the question is why? Well, it's because of this right here, this hormone called androgens. This is why during puberty, people have more incidence of these problems, right? But it can also happen at different points of your life, uh, as well as during pregnancy. So how do we regulate androgens? That's the big question. To help reduce and balance out sebum, which is the oil gland. Well, the first one is vitamin A, okay? Now, with vitamin A, there's certain creams that people rub on their skin to help get rid of blackheads and sebaceous filaments, but that's kind of treating the symptom. Why don't we just fix it by taking more vitamin A? Now, you might say, well, I'm eating a lot of carrots. Well, you might be, but that's the precursor called beta carotene. You need the actual active form of vitamin A, which is retinol, to really make sure it works, okay? So the question is, what foods are high in retinol? I'm getting to that. Let's go to the next one, vitamin D. Vitamin D also helps reduce sebum. And omega-3 fatty acids also help reduce sebum. So take a wild guess, what substance has all three of these great nutrients? Well, if you guess cod liver oil, you are correct. It's the cod liver oil that has not just the active form of vitamin A, retinol, but also vitamin D and omega-3. In fact, cod liver oil has the most vitamin A but you can also get your vitamin A from other foods as well, like egg yolks and fish and sardines. And there's a whole list of things that you can get it from. There's more to the story, okay? You also have high levels of seed oil. That's omega-6 fatty acids. It just so happens when you consume too much of that, you actually indirectly decrease the omega-3 fatty acids. So my viewpoint is, out of all the things that are creating this problem with too much uh, sebum, it's excessive amounts of seed oils. I'm talking about the soy oil, the canola, the corn oil in most of our foods. And so we must increase omega-3 and decrease omega-6 fatty acids. All right, there's more to the story. You see this right here? It's called carbohydrates and sugars. When you have too many carbohydrates and sugars, guess what? You increase insulin. And when you increase insulin, you increase androgens. This is why women who have polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is too much androgens, have way too much insulin. And the way to correct this is simply reducing your insulin levels. You're gonna to have to lower your carbs and sugars, and you're also gonna to have to decrease the frequency of how many times you eat. Intermittent fasting helps decrease the sebum as well. And boy, I wish I would have known that in school because I was the king of snacking. I would have so many different meals through the day and snacking at night. I didn't know that increases insulin, which then increases androgens, 
and gives me more acne. Again, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of the underlying imbalance using mainly diet with some nutrients. So that way we don't have to put all these topical things in our skin and create the sterilization effect, get rid of all the good friendly bacteria on the skin, create more redness and more aggravation to your skin. But there's one more thing to talk about, and that is this right here, zinc. A deficiency of zinc will increase the oil gland and then give you more sebum. So you wanna make sure you have enough zinc. Where do you get zinc? Well, shellfish, oysters, things like that, but you can also get it from red meat. But the more likely cause of a zinc deficiency is you're consuming too many carbs and sugars, okay? Or going through too much stress. That can deplete zinc as well. When you consume a lot of cereal or grains, especially whole grains, which is high in phytic acid, that's gonna pull the zinc out too. So that could be another reason why you might be deficient in zinc. But now you have the plan to not only get rid of blackheads, whiteheads, acne, sebaceous filaments. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books it's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto intermittent fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special, if you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.